Okay, so we've got Artisan 2000 electric motorcycle. What we're going to do today is just convert the current plugs. It's a standard kettle lead plug, which is a very weak connection. It's actually started to wear the uh, the copper connector on here is, is, is starting to wear and it's starting to short and it's, it's creating uh, very bad contacts. So we're going to convert that into proper battery terminal connectors. And these are the terminal connectors. Got standard, they're sort of uh, quite big and chunky M8 connectors, but um, with the copper <laughs> copper connectors, these will be uh, much better. So we've removed all the screws. Uh, there was a couple. One of them actually broke off, and one of them, uh, well, a few of them at the very bottom here are rusty because that's just a bad design where they're sat in, sat in water. Um, remove the cover. I've taken off the connector here. So now what I'm going to do is literally just line up or mark out where the two connectors are going to be fitted. I'm going to go about here. So one there and one there. So I just need to drill uh, the holes. I'll leave that connected until I've got these in place. Okay, so I've replaced I've replaced this. Here's the, uh, the original one that was um, quite worn. And I've put a new one on and fully sealed it. And I've, built, and I've fitted this in, so that's the positive lug. So I just need to uh, put some glue onto here now. I'll use the glue gun just to seal all this up, and that'll help it stop it moving. Okay, so this is a uh, second battery actually now. I'm just fitting on the terminal connectors, obviously, solid copper. Uh, I've crimped this up against here so it's solidly locked. Done the uh, the neutral one already. This is a live. Um, then I'll use the shrink wrap around it just to protect it, uh, and I'll fit the, uh, the bolts. So that's the first positive terminal connected in. That's um, secured to locking nuts there and it's basically on the end on the edge here um, out the way so i'm just going to drop some glue gun in all around here just to completely seal that in so there's the second hole drilled so now literally I'm just going to fit the connector in just need to uh, That's basically everything outside. And then I'll just plug that up and show you then when it's done. Okay, so that's the second lug fitted. Um, again, now put the uh, glue gun over it just to completely seal it in fitted some foam insert just to seal it up and I've got another little piece of foam here just to fit in that'll just help to pad it out and then just to ensure it all fits snugly perfect and uh, keeps everything in place and then just refit the case. And, uh, let's see how that goes. And I did try to keep the original plug as well um, when I was originally fitting it, but there's just no room. There's no way you can keep the original uh, socket as well as the extra terminals. Space just does not really allow for that. So I wouldn't have really used it anyway. 
So that's uh, that's fine. Let's just get the, the lid back on. Let's see if this fits. And just over there. And then I've just yeah, that fits perfectly. I've had to uh, just cut a bit of the edging off the off the lug inside just to make sure this fits properly, but that's good. I'll put the screws back in now. And here it is with the new terminal connectors all in place. Much better, more solid connection. No short circuiting and arcing. Brilliant. Just to show you, it is actually charging. I've created um, uh, connector for the charging so that um, I didn't have to fiddle about with the actual original charging power pack but literally that's a spare one I've got this one here currently plugged in and charging um, so it literally just plugs in there and then connects onto the terminals and that works perfectly well so far so good